Hey guys, you got 13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. In the last episode, we took on Chapter 6, The Nest of Evil, and we liberated Grust from the evil clutches of Lang. Um, we also learned from Lord Wendell, who has now uh, rejoined us, that uh, in order to reconstruct the Star Sphere that we actually really need, we need to collect all 12 of the constellations. Now, we've gotten every one of them up until this point, so I haven't missed a single one. That's good. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna cut this real quick. Because I want to see if I'm missing any of the other ones. Alright, so the next one's in Chapter 7. So, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Well, anyway. Let's go. Chapter 6X, Mercenary Squad. Sire, we've been ambushed by the enemy. Enemy troops are waiting for us ahead. All right, Yegan, John, make preparation for battle. Yes, at once. All right, let's see what we. Holy shit! Caesar. Oh, Roro. Shit. Okay, so I know something about this. If we want to come... I know we can recruit Caesar and Rad. However, if we want to recruit them, we have to let them live. So, hopefully I'll be able to do that. This does not look like a very easy chapter. I mean, this map's tiny. There's a lot of units surrounding our small troop. Um... Looks like we just have to seize the gate from Roro. I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Of course, you guys have a lot of fucking range. Oh, oh, okay, good. Rad and Caesar don't move. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Oh my god, that that's so much better. Rad and Caesar do not move. Okay, good. I, I was I was real worried for a second there. Okay, good. That's that's fine. That's fine. That that makes this a bit a touch easier. Let's worry about Roro, really. Well, and all these guys. I think the only danger is the archers. But even then, I don't think there should be that much of a problem. Uh, let's check on everyone real quick. So. Let's talk. 6X, Seal and John, Militia and John 2, and Augma and John. Alright, so a bunch of supports with me. Apparently a mercenary group is waiting, is awaiting us at our destination. However, we are the renowned and mighty Altaian army. There is no need for us to fear mere mercenaries. We will crush the enemy and return to Altea as soon as possible. Alright, you can... Alright, so Seal and John 2. S say John. What's the matter? Uh, did you hear that rumor? I don't believe it, but I'm just curious. What rumor? Y you know, the rumor that there's a ghost haunting this army. Oh, Cecile, you're afraid of ghosts. Oh, that nonsense. Nonsense? They say the ghost of a long-haired girl. Yeah, that was just some dry wood. Someone was just seeing things. It's just a joke at this point. Ah, I see. Yes, of course. There's no way it could have been a ghost. Cecile, don't tell me you're afraid of ghosts. No way! Something like that couldn't possibly exist. I'm not a child anymore. Ghosts are silly. But just to be on the safe side. Hmm? What? Is something wrong? Didn't you hear that strange sound, Cecile? Huh? Ah! Cecile? Where? Where? Where did it come from? Where is it? No. No! Oh, Cecile. Wait. Calm down, Cecile. I can't move with you clinging on to me like this. But... But... It's the ghost. Be gone, vile spirit. Cecile, listen to me. My neck is squeezing my... I can't breathe. Someone save me! That's my line. 
<laughs> Shit, she just fucking choked me out because she was so afraid. How awful. He was just toying with me. Oh yes, I've heard the story. You told Sir Yegan you were going to marry Prince Marthanax to meet him privately. It's no surprise you made Sir Yegan furious. But Prince Marth looked at me with such sparkling eyes. And even Granny was fooled too. Oh, Prince Marth played with my pure innocent heart. What? No, that's not true. Stop making such outrageous claims. I can't let you spread false rumors about my liege. But it was my first love. Don't cry. Alright, come on. I'll buy you a pastry, so please stop crying. Don't treat me like a kid. I'm a grown-up. The pastry has to be sweet, got it? You, you do want it, don't you? I like sweet pie, like Granny used to make. Alright, I'll do what I can. So please cheer up. John, thank you. You're on my side, aren't you? Huh? You're right. What matters now is how Prince Martha and I feel about each other. Not what I said at all! Did any of those words even come out of my mouth, Malisha? I won't give up just because that old sack of bones won't allow it. Thank you, John. I'll do my best. How do I fix in a mess now? Damn it, me. Sir Ogma. John, huh? What's wrong? You look serious. There's something I'd like to ask you. Please let me learn from you, Sir Ogma. I don't understand. You're a full-fledged knight, are you not? What do you seek from a mere mercenary? Sir Ogma, not only are you a hero from the previous war, but you saved Princess Yumina and Prince Yubella from an enemy castle all by yourself. I don't think you're a mere mercenary. Sorry, but find someone else. I'm not someone who teaches others. I'm a man who can do nothing but fight. Then, I want you to fight me. Could I ask you to spar with me one-on-one? -on -one? What? My grandfather used to tell me this. The best way of knowing somebody is fighting them. Through battle, you get to understand not just your opponent's techniques, but also their personalities and upbringing. I see. Your grandfather is correct. But you realize this, right? Once I start, I'm not going to play around. I am prepared. Very well. Come. Let's check out how's everyone. That was good training. I feel like I learned something. Just having experience. Good, I need that experience, because I need to level up fast. Yeah, I feel stronger today. Like I can like I like I could even compare to the real Navarre. Uh maybe. <laughs> Damn it, Sam Tao. Genre that makes me thick. Somehow they're just different from the others. Oh. I hope John is what, doing well. What am I thinking? John will be fine. Geez, everyone wants to become closer to me. Our bodies grow weaker with age. Yet today, I feel like I can lift ten magic tomes at once. Oh, you know, we haven't actually checked out Wendell yet. Bottom of the thing, right? Wendell. Level 7 Sage! Jesus Christ! I mean, his stats aren't all that much for a level 7 promoted unit, but still! Damn. I mean, I bet his growths are gonna be pretty bad too, but still, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, if anything, that's another healer we could use. Serious. I really want to use serious too. Should I take someone out of this team just to use serious? I could always grind him up later. Oh, actually, no, I didn't think about it. I wanted to go to the armory. I wanted to sell that bullion L we got in the last fight. Taurus Cancer and Libra. I'm holding Aquarius, just so I can get that stat, bo that stat boost. Oh, and I got that other Elfire Tome, too. I guess you haven't updated your stuff yet, or did you ever update? I'm guessing not. Actually, no, I'm 
not gonna equip that other L fire yet. I think I have what I need right now. How much does it cost for me to go into the training ground? Oh, it's still 50? Jesus Christ, I'm getting doubled by hero. Nope, that, that's... Uh, I mean, I'll kill him before he gets me. Yeah, let's just use fire. I do kind of want to get the experience just to get the level. Hey, I got speed! for now. So let's just save real quick. I'll save over five. Caesar, our ambush was a success. They're completely surrounded. Tactical victory is ours. I see. However, don't lower your guard. Our enemy is the Altaian army. We know how strong they are. But Caesar, are you really fine with this? We did fight under Altea's banner in the previous war. We're mercenaries. We have no liege. I need gold and I will do anything for it. Even selling my soul to the devil. Gold, huh? Indeed, when we get the reward from Emperor Hardin, I'm sure we can save her. Alright, let's do it, Caesar! Rad, there's no need for you to follow me. My sister is my business. The Altaian army is strong. You'll die if you're careless. I'm doing this for my own interests, too. So I'll tag along with you, Caesar. As I always have and always will. Very well. well let's go. Roro, you're ready, I presume? Yeah, yeah. It's finally my turn now. <laughs> Together with those mercenaries, we'll give Marth a royal funeral. It seems some of those mercenaries were Marth's allies in the previous war. I do wonder if they'll be of any use. So what? Doesn't matter. If they're useless, all I have to do is kill them myself. Bah, I don't like you getting the best part. Oh well, do whatever you want. That's actually really good. Alright, Marth, you can have that. I have Vulnerary. Let's get that steel sword here as well. And I'll heal ya. See what happens. You're gonna have to Gordon. <laughs> nice one. I'm trying to just think the logic behind that. I uh, probably because he wasn't doing as much damage to Marth. Cause I remember being told, man, the AI in this game is fucking bad. And oh my God, Cecile is gonna die. Oh no, she's not. No, she's not. 
Okay, Cecile's alright. I have to pull her back, though. She be healed after this. Oh, you little shit. Why is my... Jesus, Marth, calm yourself, dude. Oh, you're you have a throwing action? You're going after me? Can I double you? Damn it! Why am I so bad? Oh no, Cecile! Oh, that's only doing six. Well, if it did hit, it was only doing six anyway. It's fine. Roddy has a jab one. You know, yeah, Luke, you go after this archer. Body can go after these guys. Kill. No, for Ryan to get. Oh, yeah, 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 get a crit. All right. Not that Gordon's gonna level off of this, but hey. Okay. Oh, he almost leveled off of it. I was attacking this guy. Same speed. Nah, I should be able to take one hit from him at the very least. At the very least. Or I could just have Marth charge in and start attacking him. Eh, yeah, why the hell not? Wee hee hee! Come, come, come! Let's fight! I fucking love that theme you get when you battle the assassins. It's so good. A vote for Marth. Going after... Why me? Am I really just that bad? Eh, I'll steal the kill. I won't die, even if you kill me. We <laughs> he. Hey, level four and no stats. Cool. Jesus fucking Christ. That, that's twice I've gotten a level without any without getting any stat ups. That's really fucking bad. Well, before we end this, I just want to get as much experience as I can by healing people. And I can get some staff experience too. Maybe I'll be able to use a men's staff soon. D rank and staves. All right, Marth. App clear. You and Prince Marth, 
I should have known you weren't a foe we could de defeat with petty ta with petty tricks. I surrender. Kill me or whatever. I'm all yours. Caesar, I'd like to hire you and Rad if possible. I want you to come with us. You and Rad fought by my side in the previous war. You're both my comrades. Prince, forgive me, but we're mercenaries. All we did in the previous war was fulfill our duty as hired swords. It might have been just a job for you two, but not to me. Both of you are my precious comrades. You were then and still are now. Prince, I appreciate your willingness to say such kind words to mercenaries like us. However, at the end of the day, we're hired swords. Therefore, we ask for gold. Prince, Arcanea occupies your country. It's obvious you don't have the extra resources needed to pay us. Well, you have a point. We have gold. We shall reclaim Altea, our homeland. Once we do, we will have access to the gold we have there. Altea might be occupied by Arcanea now, but we shall defeat them. Then you'll have the gold you seek. Do you honestly think you stand a chance? Against a powerful kingdom like Arcanea? Yes. Prince Marth shall be the victor. We won't be defeated. You're an odd man. Seems you have the power to move the hearts of others. Just like Prince Marth does. Even if it seems an impossible task, you might just be the man to pull it off. That's how you make me feel. Since you failed your mission, Arcanea won't pay you the gold you seek anymore. If you're hired sword working for gold, following Prince Marth would serve your interests better. Am I wrong? Fair enough. Prince Marth, Rad and I are now your hired swords. We shall accompany you for as long as you wish us to. Thank you, Caesar. Oh dear. Roro, it seems your clone died. Oh, he was no clone. He was my brother. We're all Roro. <sighs> Whatever. So are you the real Roro? Or just another clone? Who knows? I forgot. <laughs> the Altaeans are strong. Next time I'll bring all my brothers. Real me and brothers, together we'll kill Marth. <laughs> huh. So there's more than one row row. Of course there is. Alright, so... Uh, we'll end the episode off here. And in the next one, guys, we'll take on Chapter 7, The Scarlet Swordsman. I'll see you guys then. Bye!